Carpet will be dusted and rolled out tomorrow evening for the province's biggest sporting event. The finalists for this year's Gauteng Sport Awards will be revealed at the main gala hosted at the Silver Star Casino. Now the celebration is dedicated dedicated to the selfless legacy and struggle of struggle icon Oliver Reginald Tambo. The MSc of Sport, Arts, Culture and Recreation, Faith Mazibugo, joins us this morning to share more about the exciting awards. Very good morning, MEC, and welcome. And th thank you very much. Good morning, uh, Pell, and good morning to all the viewers at home. I'm so excited to chat all things Gauteng Sport Awards. I mean, <laughs> we talk about the theme this year. It's all about rewarding the province's stars and their contribution in the world of sport. And it's all under the theme uh, and of carrying the legacy of O.R. Tambo. Quickly take us through that. What is important is that OR uh, carried uh, the sense of unity. So that is what we're trying to demonstrate this year. That Gauteng, a cosmopolitan province, we, <coughs> excuse me, we've got all the, <coughs> the racial groups, we've got all the demographics, we've got all men and women. In fact, people travel far and, far, far and, uh, far and nearer to come to Gauteng because it is the province of excellence. It is always what you call a home of champions. So that's why everyone will want to see themselves being here in Gauteng. And of course, sport is one of those things that really unify us and is so good for nation building as well. I'm sure you agree with that. Definitely, definitely. If you talk about social cohesion, if you talk about nation building, then you're definitely talking about sports. All of us, uh, whether you are pink, blue, green or red, but when it's sports day, that day all of us were united and we go to one place to the stadium or to watch any match that uh, makes us to be happy. I absolutely love that. MEC, let's talk about the nominees this year. How were the nominees uh, selected? What is that process and who is involved? In fact, uh, it is uh, everyone that is involved, uh, the various sport, uh, sports clubs, uh, <coughs> excuse me, the various sports administrators. And uh, what is also important is the fans at home who also uh, do participate in nominating their favorite sportsmen or sportswomen, especially in different categories or sp uh, different codes. So that's how the process uh, happens. And then the adjudicators then start identifying that excellent man or woman. And then the finals, of course, it is when we are unveiling them uh, at the sports awards. Do the adjudicators also make sure that the right person wins, not just in terms of the uh, favorite sports or sportswomen of the year or sportsmen of the year, but just in terms of the selection of, you know, the nominees themselves, do they vet, do they really dig deep to see what these people have achieved and the, how they've made South Africa great? They do all excellence? those things in order for them to get that excellent sportsman or sportswoman or that athlete. They definitely have to tick all the boxes and even try and interview them here and there, make follow up, check exactly does this person uh, deserve to be the nominee and uh, finally when everything has actually happened when they now identify the finals that is when they uh, uh, identify that excellent man or woman who deserves to win on the day all right and what else would you say uh, determines the winners that are then announced the participation of uh, uh, viewers at home, uh, because we do also have got an SMS line uh, where they have to uh, vote for their favorite sportsman or for their sp favorite sports fan. And uh, they also stand a chance to actually win a car. Uh, so that's how we get everyone to participate. So that then it's not a matter of Department of Sports and Recreation, but it is the involvement of the community, the involvement of everyone who is there and everyone who wants to see the best coming out of Gauteng. Now, awards are one way of really uh, awarding excellence. Uh, but what else does the department do to make sure that uh, the athletes who do win or the athletes that are nominated stay on the radar and are always being promoted just in terms of what they do for the country? As you know, also uh, nationally, they also ha host the national uh, sports uh, awards. So most of those that then make it here in Gauteng, they actually qualify. The finalists actually qualify to uh, automatically to be uh, uh, nominated in the National Sports Awards. So they don't have to undergo that whole process again. So we simply submit them and they actually have to go and uh, compete with other uh, nominees from other provinces or from other uh, clubs or federations that might have been uh, been nominated. All right, so let us know what we can expect tomorrow evening. Wow, expecting uh, all the razzmatazz <laughs> and all the beautiful things and everyone. It will be exciting, but what is most exciting is the uh, community-based uh, uh, sporting uh, uh, events because then it means we are 
calling upon each and every one of us to do something in our communities. Don't wait for an initiative, but take that uh, opportunity and initiate a tournament or initiate classic games or initiate any other thing. And such community uh, involvements, they actually make uh, some of these exciting uh, events to, to be identified and be nominated in our communities. But most of all, what is exciting is producing those stars. I am an MEC. Thank you very much. Tolugutti Sports Stars tomorrow swap their kits uh, for, you know, their tuxedos and their flowing magical uh, <laughs> designer dresses, of course, at those awards. That was the uh, MEC of Sport, Arts and Culture and, of course, Recreation, Faith Mazibugo. The main event will be held tomorrow evening at the Silver Star Casino. It'll be great.